Usually, parties to disputes resort to their courts for the resolution of their disputes. This often comes at a high cost of hiring a lawyer and it is also time consuming. The open court process results in a win-loss situation which affects the future relationship among disputed parties. However, in 2005, the Judicial Service instituted the Alternative Dispute Resolution as a mechanism to resolve disputes among litigants to ease pressure on the regular court system and provide disputants the opportunity to amicably resolve issues. The alternative dispute resolution affords parties such as families, neighbors, business associates, landlords, and tenants an opportunity to settle their issues out of an open court. The ADR process through mediation assigns a mediator to the parties to the conflict to resolve their differences. Speaking at the launch of the ADR week in Bogatanga in the Upper East region on the team, making our courts user-friendly through the use of ADR, Justice of the Court of Appeal and in charge of ADR, Her Ladyship Justice Irene Charity Labby, stressed the need to embrace the resolution of disputes through the use of ADR to decongest the courts. You are aware that with the increase in population, there will be increase also in disputes. There will be increase in conflicts. And therefore, when you come to court, you see that the court list for one day is so tall, taller than some of us when it's printed and put on the printed on the court notice board. And so you can imagine the judge when he sees the cause is immediately the judge starts panicking. He's under stress. The parties come to court worried. Lawyers who have more than one case for that day are also thinking, how am I going to juggle my case to move from court one to court two? The ADR week in Bogatanga will educate the public about the use of ADR and also help resolve all ADR cases pending in court. Her Ladyship Justice Labby highlighted cases that could not be heard through the ADR. Cases like uh, kidnapping, arson, robbery are all felonies. So in criminal cases, not all cases can be referred. Even in civil cases, some cases like uh, child custody matters, where sexual, physical, mental, and psychological or verbal abuse is charged, that one too cannot go for ADR. The National Coordinator of ADR, Alex Nate, admonished lawyers not to cash in on their clients by discouraging them from using the ADR system when necessary. These uh, challenges of I won't go to ADR, my lawyer say I shouldn't go, will all be over. And lawyers will also find a strategic way of benefiting from ADR. However, if the processes are. I do not think that making money from practice uh, only requires that the case must travel so many years in court. No. Some lawyers and mediators have been speaking to City News on the successes and challenges of the ADR system. It cuts down on stress. It cuts down on the volume of work you need to put in uh, on behalf of your clients. Um, it's you know, and usually the decision uh, after the ADR would normally not, even if you don't win, uh, you don't also lose either. In mediation, you don't find anybody taking a decision and saying, this is my, it's permanent. No. Like somebody just said here, yeah, knowledge is power. No, it's not true. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge used, that is power. Knowledge that is lying down is dormant. 
litigation in open court is proving to be expensive, a reason for which the judicial service is admonishing the public to utilize the alternative dispute resolution mechanism to settle disputes amicably. This saves time, money, and also preserve future relationship among disputants. Reporting for City News, I'm Frederick Aoni, Bogotá.